we've been praying to this uh this uh pope and then at the same time we're praying to this pope this image is burnt into our literally burnt into our brain to the point where when you hear jesus you instantly see that face so we're we're, we're we this this guy is taking up real estate in all the brains of eight billion people on planet earth and at the same time that you see that face you're calling a name that has nothing to do with that face it's got a tie back to an ancient Anunnaki being named Enlil that was a brutal enslaving murderer on this planet and put in the systems in place that we still have today, including the police system, the bicameral Congress. All that was started by Enlil. Even he, he even started the way that uh, city grids are laid out. He said to his sister in one of the tablets, to Ninma, he said to Ninma, this plan I have on this planet is to last for all time. This guy didn't say this should last for a couple hundred years. This guy said, my plan for what I'm going to do to this planet is going to last for all time. That's etched in stone. And guess what, guys? The evidence of that is still all around us. Because no matter what neighborhood I go to, there's a thousand churches in every neighborhood and the more Brutal the neighborhood is. If I go to my, I went to my old neighborhood actually about three months ago. Took Elizabeth down there. There were, I think it was 32 churches in a eight square mile area. And 32 in that area, in that neighborhood, people are getting shot and killed, stabbed, and drugged out and dying from overdoses and houses broken into. The crime is through the roof every single day. My elementary school has a 20 foot barbed wire fence around it. And there's a church right around the next corner. You see what I'm saying? What's going on here? You need to understand that these images that they put out, this programming that they put out is fake. They want you to believe that this Yeshua was sent here from heaven by some magical white deity with a white robe on and a magic wand. And then the guy with the magic wand and the white robe said, you know what? These people, I know I'm omnipotent and I'm omniscient and I know everything, but I just can't seem to figure out how to make these people behave. So what I'll do is I'll sacrifice, I'll kill my own son and that'll teach him. <laughs> Come on, man. For real? That, that will be, that's what, that's what we, and then we read, and then we're in school, we're told that the Greeks have mythology and then people go to Bible study the same night. Uh, come on, for real? Are we, are we being for real here? Come on, guys. We got to stop. <laughs> we got to stop, man. We got to stop this foolishness. At some point, we got to sit down and say, something ain't really adding up here. Um, Yeah, this is contradicting this. This is contradicting that. Uh, God knows everything, but yet he didn't know that Adam and Eve became conscious. God knows everything, but at the same time, he couldn't stop people from being bad. He couldn't just come down and say, hey, guys, I have a better way to teach you something. Let me show you something a little bit different. He couldn't just figure it out. So he said, you know what? I got something. I'll just torture my own, my own kid, and then that'll teach him. Listen, in the Sinai Bible, which predates the King James Bible, Yeshua was never sacrificed. Let me say that again. In the Sinai Bible, which predates the King James Bible by almost a thousand years, Yeshua was never sacrificed. Not only that, there's close to 10,000 mistranslations between the two Bibles. The King James Bible is heavily, 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 heavily curated information. You want to get closer to the source, you got to get to the Ethiopian Bible, which includes the, the, the book of Enoch. That's the only Bible in the world that includes the book of the full book of Enoch is in the Ethiopian Bible. 